Hey loves, it is going to be Chit Chat Monday. It is Monday and I'm going to Chit Chat, therefore it's Chit Chat Monday. Okay, I had a really nice weekend. It was really sunny. I'm so glad that the sun is finally out. I live in Connecticut and the winter has been so bad. It's been, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been like one of the worst winters ever. Sorry. And, um, there's just been a lot of snow, really gloomy, and I don't like it. I don't like winter. I like the summer. I like heat. I like sun, warm weather. It's just when I feel the best. So in winter time, I'm not happy. I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm not happy. And living here in Connecticut, I'm not happy because I want, seriously, I want warm weather all the time. I need to find a place to move bad like really bad any suggestions if anybody's like watching this and you have a suggestion on like where's a really nice place like I want to live somewhere where it's just warm basically all year and where it's just a little bit more community based if that makes any sense I mean Connecticut is just full of either really straight poverty stricken it's just so sad it's just so either you're so poor and then you have a couple of people who have a lot of money that's pretty much how it is. And then you have a bunch of people who look like they have money, but they're all in debt. This is Connecticut for you because it's so freaking expensive. Everything is expensive. The taxes are insane. It's just, it's an insane state to live in. It's really hard. It's small. It's, I mean, there's a lot of nice things to it, but I'm done with it. Seriously done. I need to move. But anyways, I'm happy that we had like a really nice weekend. It was totally sunny. I actually, um... My better half, Eric, he got a bow up, uh, bow pro, a GoPro. So we used it this weekend to vlog with or to attempt to vlog with. I'm going to attempt to edit and it's going to take a lot of editing because I've never used a GoPro before and I'm not a, I, I I'm just like, I, I look like Dolly Parton in some of these. It's so funny. It's like the angle. I never, I like, I don't know about the angling. I'm trying to get used to all of this. Like right now my videos, the quality is like not that great, but I am attempting, I'm really trying to get better. I think that after, give me a few months, I think it's going to get a lot better, but well, I know it will. But so this is like the first time I'm, I'm trying to sit there <laughs> and I, the angle was kind of down. So I look like Dolly Parton and I don't, I mean, I'm not flat chested in no way, but I don't look like Dolly Parton in real life, but I, I do in this GoPro. So I'm going to have to edit some of that because I'm not like intentionally trying to like show every whole world my breast. And so I cannot like put a video out like that because that just is not, I don't know. Never mind the fact that it makes me look a little bigger than I am anyways. And it's high definition and high definition is very scary. I've never understood. Well, I understood it, but I've never fully grasped why some people are so like, you know, these celebrities and these other people are like high definition. Oh my God, poor people. No wonder. I mean, God bless them. They got to look at themselves like that on high definition and they know they don't look like that and then you just look like freaking crazy on high definition GoPro wide angle crazy I don't even know so yeah we went to a flea market and I videoed that it was a massive flea market they were actually recording I think the flea market find show there while we were there but besides the point the flea market was huge I mean we didn't even get to see the whole thing we were there for like three hours but they had such neat stuff so I we recorded some of that and then just recorded like going to BJ's and Trader Joe's and just like boring Sunday crap but I'm gonna put it out there anyways because you know what if nobody wants to see it that's fine I'll want to see it in the future again so that works for me and yeah so sunny weekend went there that was nice Saturday I did a walk with two of my friends for the NAMI walk if you don't know what that is this month is national awareness mental awareness month and obviously I am affected by that in many ways I am affected with it personally and I'm affected with it where I know many people who do suffer from it and that affects me personally as well so it's a very um obviously mental awareness mental health awareness is a big an important topic so they had a walk right um not too far from me and my friend signed up and I was like you know what you want someone to go with you and we all went and it was just it was a fun time I'm glad we walked we went to lunch after I had like a crayfish sandwich I'd never eaten crayfish so I had a crayfish sandwich then I had fried green tomatoes and I had never eaten fried green tomatoes I also had fried okra I had never eaten okra and then I had fried pickles well I didn't like eat the whole basket I had like a couple pieces of each but I had like I had fried pickles before but everything else was like new and that was cool I love trying new food I think it's so much fun just to try new things especially if they're fried because then you know you can't 
go wrong. And I have been trying to not eat that junk and I've been doing pretty good, but it was like a special occasion. I was with two of my friends. We really never went out to eat together, all three of us as a group. And it was just fun. It was nice to walk together and it was a really nice day. It ended up being a really nice day and they had called for rain. So I was like, dear Lord, I just hope it's not going to be like downpour. If it's sprinkling, I could deal with it because it'd still be like around 60 degrees if it was sprinkling, but instead it was like 70, 75 degrees and sunny. So I was like, thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers to having a sunny day for the NAMI walk. And so that was cool. And that was my weekend pretty much. I have been feeling pretty good. Um, I've been journaling a lot. I actually did a video on my whole journal. I didn't put it out yet, but this is my journal. If you want to see it, yeah, that's my journal. And I've been journaling and I never did that in my whole life. This is like totally new to me. But I think it's therapeutic for me. I think that's actually working. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just psychological. But you know what? That's my problem. A lot of it is psychological. So let's work with that there. It's fine. Um, what else? Just been journaling. And I'm going to try to vlog more and just do more videos. I'm going to have to get lighting, I think. It's just, I'm not in a rush to get lighting because I'm going to be on my boat a lot coming up. In the summer, I don't stay in this crappy little city I live in. I go to my boat, and I pretty much live on this boat, and I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on there. And you could see my boat. It's in, like, one of my videos from, like, last year or something like that. But I'm going to definitely be doing more videos there, so I'm going to have to work with something there, and I'm not going to bring, like, huge lighting because that would be crazy. I mean, I could actually fit a lighting post in there, but that's stupid and... The boat rocks when, you know, at certain times it would break. Anyways, besides the point, not going to happen. So I think I'm just going to kind of work with what I have for now. And then definitely when summer's over, I'm going to probably be getting, um, because I think I'm going to still be making these videos. I really like it. It makes me so happy when, like, I get a new subscriber. I'm just, like, thrilled. I could, like, I, I need help, but that's fine. I know that. I just, I'm so happy to, like, it's not like a popularity thing for me. I've said that before. It really isn't. It's just, like, reaching out, and I'm just so wanting to reach out. I am, I've never, like, I don't have a job. I, I, I can't work. I'm disabled. I'll just put that out there. I'm not ashamed. It's just something that is part of me and I have to deal with. So I don't work and I just, I'm a mother and I, I do a lot of things and I do a lot of things good and I take care of everything I have. I take really good care of my animals. I take really good care of my daughter. I take care of my stuff. I'm a responsible person, but I don't like have anything for me and I really needed something for me. And right now I can't go back to school. I just can't. My mind's not working clear enough and I just, I need something for me, and it's like, this is like an outlet for me, and I really am, I'm, I'm freaking digging it completely, and I'm loving everybody I'm meeting on here, every single person has been so nice, and I'm just hoping that I could like branch that and go up and up and up and just meet more people, and I just, like I said, not for popularity, not because like, oh, I want to be like a superstar, and I want to be the most popular person on here, I mean, that's, this is 2000 freaking 14, not 2006, that's, you know what I mean? But I just, I just like branching out to people. I like meeting people and I like, you know, meeting people of the same interests. And obviously if you watch my video and you subscribe to me, you, there's something about me you like. So we're probably somewhere like in tune with each other in a way. And so I think that's really freaking cool. And I, I don't know, I have so much to say and I have, I have, I feel like I have so much to give. So I just want to continue doing this, whether it be for like, just the, like a few of you guys that just really enjoy my videos or if I end up getting more and there's more of you then that would be awesome but like right now I'm just so happy with everything just I'm just gonna keep pushing and trying to do my best and this is my thing and I just really need something for me in like so many ways I felt like I was just like really seriously dying from not having anything for me so yeah everybody needs something that they have for themselves that's just for them that makes them happy and it, it that's it. We just need things like this. This world is too hard and it's too short. We only go around a few times. We need to enjoy the times we go around. We need to try to make the best of it. So I'm really fighting to make the best of it. I'm sick of not feeling good. I'm sick of this depression and anxiety crap. I've been through, like I said before, I've been through a lot of things. If anyone ever has questions, feel free to shoot them to me. I would love to eventually do like have enough questions where I could do like a question and answer video or you just have like any type of questions on anything. I have dealt with depression my entire life. Like seriously, I could remember being in elementary school and going to the nurse and just crying for all kinds of reasons and no reasons at the same time. My childhood was an interesting childhood, but 
at the same time I didn't I didn't know you know it was just I've always suffered from this it's something that is very real to me and I've overcome many battles I've been through so much and I've overcome so much and through everything that I've been through it has not broke I mean it might have broken me for a little while but I don't even feel like it broke me I feel like I was just in healing mode and it, it actually strengthened me I feel like everything bad that's happened to me has strengthened me and for that reason I would never take anything back as freaking crazy as that sounds like I mean, I've been raped, and I wouldn't take that back. I mean, isn't that, like, kind of screwy? But it's honest. Like, I'm being honest. I wouldn't because it's it's building me to who I am, and it's giving me things, and it's giving me knowledge on things that you cannot get without being through them. So I feel like with this knowledge that I have because of these trials, tribulations, horrors, and all that stuff that I've been through, I can help other people because of that. And so that's what I want to do. I've always wanted to do that. I just never knew how I was going to do it. I ended up going to school many years, well, not many years ago, but years when my daughter was like a baby. I was going to college and I got my degree in criminal justice because I wanted to help people. But then I realized criminal justice, that whole field, was not the way I really wanted to go about it. I am not a conformist. I have a hard time with that. So I kind of have to do it in my own way. And I was at a standstill and didn't know what to do. And now I'm just kind of like, you know what, I can just kind of reach out here and talk and then try to figure it out. And and it maybe not through this, but maybe this will bring me into something. Maybe this will meet, I will inter be introduced to somebody through something. Something's going to happen. I know that something is going to happen from this. I'm just not quite sure what it is. But I'm waiting and I'm ready. And yeah. So I guess I'm going to leave it at that because I'm at 11 minutes and I don't really know what else to say. Although I could probably just keep talking and talking and talking forever because I love to talk. And I honestly feel like I'm talking to you guys. Like you guys can just be like all sitting in front of me and I'm talking to you because that's how I feel. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy my videos and I really hope you subscribe if you do like them. Please, um, constructive criticism. I really need it. I would love, excuse me, I feel like I have a little hair on my lip. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Like... But anyways, I really, um, I could really use comments. Like, what do you think I can do to improve? What do you like? What do you, is there anything you dislike? Like, my feelings, of course, sometimes feelings get hurt about things. But if there's something that I can, you know, if it's just a personal opinion, I have to accept personal opinions and not take that to offense because they should never be taken to offense. But constructive criticism sometimes is really needed, and that's how we grow, and that's how we get better. So I am all for that. If there are any comments of that sort, please let me know. Um, if you ever need a friend, I've said it before, and I mean this, and I mean this seriously, DM me on here, private message me on here, you can message me on here and ask me to private message you, or give me your, uh, whatever it is, we, um, I'm here, I will definitely listen, I don't, I'm not gonna go up and blow up your whole spot and tell the whole world what you said, I would never do that, what you told to me would never go beyond me, and that's just the way that is. So if you ever need a friend, you always have one in me, just know that, and everybody watching this, I wish you the absolute best of the best. I love you with my whole heart, I really do, don't ever feel like you're alone because you're not, there's always people out there who truly love you, and it's pretty amazing. So, have a good one, it's Monday, I hope everyone has a great week, and I will be posting more videos soon hope you're liking my videos coming out i've almost been posting them every day but why not why not i can do what i want to do on here i'm just hoping you like it and if you don't if someone doesn't they haven't made it this far for the ones who have made it this far you must like something so thank you thank you thank you thank you